Okay, and I wanted to mention, um, when I was mixing my dyes, I um, was using this uh, cloth mouth cover. Um, because I'm only mixing a tiny bit of dyes. When I'm mixing a lot of dyes for dyeing my sh overall shirt, I'm usually wearing this respirator. Um, the mask keeps any powders floating up from getting in my eyes because I've been doing this for over two decades, so it's important. Um, if you're just dyeing up a couple of shirts and you don't have a paper respirator, you could, in a sense, just tie a bandana around your mouth. Just, uh, you, know, you don't want to breathe in these dyes. So, so here we go. So I'm going to color this in. So all I'm going to do is to take a paint that's really just dye and this is already mixed. It's been sitting for quite a while actually. Um, I'm just going to color that in. And I know it might like, make the colors look a little weird in some places, but it's because uh, it's mixing covering up on the marker that's on the shirt. So I'm just taking it and filling it in, like coloring a paint by number, but paint by color. A tree. Is it a happy little tree? We don't know. Could be. You can have your dyes thinner and they'll penetrate more and they'll um, mix a little better too. Um, when they're thick, you can actually just uh, totally draw all the way down. See, that's all I felt done by my name. Mm -hmm. might not look that different right now, but once it's dry, the colors will show up more. Um, they kind of look real similar when they're wet. And kind of mirror right there, so I'm going to use a small brush. <coughs> Now when I'm done filling the color in on this, I'm going to set it to dry according to where it's at. You know, if it's in a warm room, it'll dry faster. If it's in a regular temperature room, it might take all day to dry. I will be leaving it overnight and coming back to it tomorrow. What I do, I'm going to wax over this whole thing and then dye the entire shirt. And then we'll have to let it sit for about 24 hours. But some people fat dye their shirts, and I've heard of people leaving it for like a half hour and pulling it and boiling. But the longer you leave it, the bolder your color will end up being. So. And this is for the overall dye. This is kind of concentrated for the amount of dye that I used. The tiny bit of paint that I've made. And so it's just, you know, coloring it in.
so that is all that up. I will get it there. Just add a tiny bit of color for shading to bring this out a little bit because I always add a little blue. Because I'm gonna just after the dinner tonight, which is only a few hours away. So that's that. So when this is all dry, I will um, cover it with hot glue, and then we go into the dyeing process for the whole shirt.